Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. Today, I'm going to teach you how to avoid distortion in mixing and mastering. A lot of producers uh, have a lot of um, problems when it comes to uh, their audios and the mixing. And after mastering, the entire song just sounds uh, distorted instruments distort vocals distort they just basically don't know what to do so this is really gonna help you to improve your your mixes and your masters and just uh, to to have that great sound that you've been looking for so uh, number one do not use loud and sharp instruments let me play this oh, Lord I thank you for the blessing yeah your goodness to follow me. Everything I touch, every I go, you the bless me. Double, double. Go be your... Now, that clipped right here because there was something that I was experimenting and I'm going to show you uh, in a few minutes from now. Then this stereo in, this is my microphone, it's distorting. There is a clipping. It's clipping. You don't have to clip this side. Uh, in your stereo out your stereo out is not supposed to clip whenever you're doing mixing if it is clipping then there is a problem and this problem is just gonna be solved today oh, Lord, I thank you for the blessing yeah, your goodness to follow. stop using loud and sharp instruments unless if you really really know how to control sharp and loud instruments dynamically but if you don't know how to do that make sure you avoid using loud and sharp uh, instruments there are so many um, sharp instruments let's say if I brought up let, let me duplicate this then I'm gonna solo the original one and then I'm gonna put something else let me put um, so I can show you guys what I mean for example let me try Vanguard So in, in, instead of my my sound sounding like this clean, then you add in something that you don't really understand very well, and this is gonna give you a problem like this. Already, this instrument has some distortion harmonics already added to it, and when you don't know how to use it. During mixing and mastering, you just boost up everything. At the end of the day, your mix is going to distort. So avoid um, loud and sharp instruments. And some of the sharp instruments sound like this. Let me, let me just replace this with something else. Um, Nexus. Something like this. So already this instrument is already distorting it has some sharpness to read so if you don't know how to use it make sure you select something softer something clear and cleaner so number two do not over increase the gain of your instruments this might be the problem that you have that you're facing this might be the cause of uh, that distortion problem that you have over increasing the gain of your instruments and so, some producers feel like if they increase the gain then um the song is gonna have that punch no the punch comes dynamically it is all about knowing how to mix and how to balance each instrument then the punch is gonna come during mastering so avoid over 
increase uh, avoid of uh, increase of volumes and gain of instruments of uh, increasing your your instrument volume is gonna distort your mix and everything's just gonna sound bad and then clipping is gonna start so to avoid that don't over increase the gain of your instruments for example this side let me just go to my instrument go back to my instrument this right here is the gain this right here so your problem might be taking this like this then this side too probably maybe you take it like that and then inside here there are these volumes which come with uh, each plug-in each instrument and on default they're usually somewhere here this is default they are they're, they are usually somewhere here so imagine that you inc you increased your volume from there you also increased the volume from the the, the plugin uh, gain and then from here it's on default and this is what a lot of uh, producers don't know it comes on default so it sounds like this already uh, is distorted so look at what I did I made sure that all these um, default volumes are brought down within the instrument within all these uh, plays that the, the, the piano roll so I made sure this is the the way they sound like so I reduced them to 32 32 all of them to 32 so that I can have a smoother instrument or I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take back these so leave this on default and uh, if there is need to add a little bit of volume you can add volume use a compressor or something like that to just reduce the volume a little bit then i'm also gonna go to the um default volume plugin volume and just reduce it a little bit so that it can sound like this see it's not hitting hard it's not distorting it's okay so make sure that within the piano row you reduce these little little guys these uh, volume knobs reduce them just a little bit uh, if you are playing using your MIDI keyboard and it has a touch I, I basically I I recommend you using a um, a, a a, a MIDI keyboard or keyboard that has a touch because that is going to help you to to not to to distort so avoid over increase uh, avoid increasing the gain of your instruments then the one two three number four avoid plotting plotting is uh, distorts instruments what, what, what I mean by plotting is I, I mean like this you add an instrument you can do plotting if you know how to do just make sure you humanize it humanize your plots for example like um, here's purity then we bring something like this and you go in and you start plotting I want you to look at this the volume is at one at a hundred just by plotting the volume is at a hundred but when when you use uh, a MIDI keyboard and it has a touch this is not gonna be at a hundred it's gonna be maybe on 50 45 because you're using a touch you're using a touch but whenever you're doing your plottings it just distorts it automatically it your instrument is automatically gonna uh, distort so avoid uh, plottings and if you're plotting make sure that after your plot you really reduce these little guys you reduce them a little bit uh, you make sure that you come to to uh, 
velocity, you work on velocity, after touch, poly pressure, you, you just reduce them a little bit so that um, they can sound natural and professional. Or else if you just plot like that, imagine if you are working on five instruments and then all of them are plotted automatically you are going to get uh, distortion and clipping so right now what i was doing see it all it, it has already started clipping why because of those plottings and high volumes but if i do this so make sure that your vol your instrument volume is in green in the area of green should not be uh on red no let it not be on red let it be on green and then the other thing that you must avoid is learn how to pan instruments if you are playing more than 10 instruments pan some of them to the right panning is right here you pan to the right or the left so pan some of them so that you can have space they should not all be playing at the same side on this uh, on the same i mean on the same place they should have places where they should play from so you pan some to the right some to the left so that space can be created so that can also be uh the problem that you are facing you don't pan your instruments you don't pan your guitars you don't pan your strings uh you don't pan your pianos you don't pan your 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 hearts you don't pan your some of your snares just need a little bit of panning so you just have to uh start panning some of those instruments and avoid overplaying of instruments if you want to avoid the distortion and clipping then the other uh point is this is a uh, very important because it's really gonna help you to to have that clean mix and um, just have that good sound whenever you are mixing when mixing mix on a low volume I've seen her seen a lot of producers just boost up the monitor speakers whenever they are mixing and it's just too loud what is gonna happen is your ears are no longer going to detect what's right and what is wrong and at the end of the day distortion is gonna sound normal to your ears but when you are done and uh, with your mix down and mastering later on you discover man everything is clipping everything is distorting why because you mixed on a high volume you blasted everything up I, I i usually mix on a very very low volume why i want my ears to get everything so the secret to getting a better mix whenever you mix uh on a low volume you'll be able to detect distortion you'll be able and control it of course you'll be able to detect where it's clipping you'll be able to detect what is wrong in your mix so make sure you mix on a low volume reduce your uh, sp the, your speaker volume reduce it to to a place whereby you can mix and talk to your to someone who's close to you so that's the way you do that's the way professionals do it mix on a low volume then the other point is avoid stacking instruments some producers believe that if i for example this instrument right here if i can just duplicate it like this and duplicate it like this and stack it then i'm gonna have um i'm gonna have a heavy instrument like this yeah the instrument is gonna sound heavy but that's unprofessional you don't have to do that you can still make it heavy by adding compression eq in and a little bit of um raising it up using some of the uh distortion plugins that is gonna help boost up that instrument you don't have to uh, to stack your instruments don't avoid stacking instruments and then the other point is choose clean instruments or samples there are some of the samples which are already which come uh 
distorted. They, they, they are already distorted. They're already clipping. They are already uh, mastered and maximized. And when you don't know that, you're just going to throw that sample on your mix. And then once you do your mixing and also do your mastering, you're going to raise all those volumes. Then that uh, sample or instrument is automatically going to uh, distort. So make sure you choose clean instruments or samples which are not highly compressed or maximized. Then avoid boosting your microphone levels. Don't look at this. Um, go to recordings and then I've muted most of the things. Go to recordings and then make sure that your level is just on default don't take it this side don't take it anywhere make sure your level is on default make sure it's on 85 or 50 if you want to or if it is on 85 the reduce the sound card volume and then avoid boosting your volume i think there's somewhere where you you do uh boosting avoid boosting your volume your microphone volume when you do that your recordings are gonna sound um distorted for example this is a clean vocal and it was recorded on a minimal recording volume so make sure that when you whenever you're recording your vocal is not too loud like this it should not be like this this is distortion make sure that your vocal is in the normal range like that yeah so avoid boosting your microphones the other point is record quiet vocals not too loud just quiet vocals why because what, what the advantage is when you record quiet vocals you can still boost them from here but when you record loud vocals when you try to boost those vocals they're gonna distort so make sure that your microphone volume is very low so that you can your vocal can have that space breathing space where you can still you can still boost it up you can still add compression you can still add and the vocals still be natural so your mixing level should not clip this is the other uh point that i want to give you your mixing level should not clip like this your mixing level should not clip whenever you are mixing for example let me stop talking see what is going to happen one two right there so whenever you, everything is playing this side like this yeah your goodness they follow me everything i touch everywhere i go you they bless me double double so everything playing together together with the instruments the backings no clipping should be detected this side that is going to help your mixes not to distort and then the other uh, point that i want to give you guys is uh, your in your mixes avoid adding a limiter see whenever you're producing and you start adding plugins that you don't know for example you just come there then you go to you you add a limiter avoid adding limiters unless if you know what to do most times and most uh most people that are uh i uh, most people who like ask questions and i try to help them most of them add limiters just to boost up the volumes remember i told you you can put maximizer just a little bit rvox just a little bit but don't add the limiter i usually don't add limiters whenever i am mixing i usually add limiters during uh, mastering yeah just to put that ceiling but most producers just add up limiters and plugins that 
boost up stuff so avoid using plugins that, that boost up stuff that is gonna help your mixes to sound better then the last thing that i want to show you guys is uh use your input gain start using input gain let's say if your instrument is too loud uh just hold shift and reduce it a little bit give it a negative 5.8 somewhere there this button right here is very crucial and very important when it comes to mixing it helps to avoid distortion so use your uh your gain knobs your input gain so that you can avoid unnecessary clipping and distortion well i hope this video helped you if this video helped you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos i'll see you in the next one